I titled this section Outside the Box Modernism because I know the term modern art puts a lot of people off. But let's think about this just for a second, what the importance of modernism is. And it includes uh, movements like abstraction, formalism, cubism, um, expressionism, uh, surrealism. So what's happened with this movement, because it occurred about the same time as Impressionism, is that people said, I need to let go of convention, of realism perhaps, and uh, commissioned portraits or religious iconism. Uh, a lot of early art started with things like religious iconism and then moved into myth and uh, formal portraiture landscapes uh, and then in the 19th century came along realism uh, depicting scenes of uh, normal life going on about people. Um, think of Cezanne, Gauguin and then the people who took it to the next level uh, Picasso, Brock, O'Keeffe, Paul Klee uh, Van Gogh, uh, Salvador Dali, Jackson Pollock, and believe it or not, your skills with photo editing and especially aided by programs such as Topaz Studio 2 and Impressions will help free you from just taking documentary photos and allow yourself to be more creative thinking outside the box and sooner or later you may be able to actually pre-visualize in the field th that this thing before me if I take a picture of it now I can use that as the basis to create something outside the box uh, even something I'm gonna include here uh, with this slide fantasy it's more sci-fi than abstract, but I'm including it. Let's go for something a bit more abstract here. So as usual, I tend to start in Photoshop. I duplicate a layer. I've expanded the canvas a little bit to give myself some uh, better framing of this object. I got to get rid of this guy's arm. I think I'm just going to do my usual thing of isolating uh, the subject uh, and eliminating all the background. So I'm going to pause while I go into uh, Mask AI and remove those things. So I do have uh, a masked thing here to show you. We can put a solid color behind it of our choosing. And texturize this and uh, start with the abstraction. I'm going to go into Topaz Studio 2 and uh, textures. So in Topaz Studio 2 under add a filter go down to the stylistic group to the bottom and choose texture and then search for the texture you want to put on there. It'll be something like this. Bokeh lights and accept that. First I think I want to work on the contrast of this and we can do it uh, with topaz but for expediency I'm just going to bring up curves layer I think it already has enough contrast for our next step so let's uh, merge these layers and duplicate it do some abstraction back in Topaz Studio 2. So add a filter, go down to abstraction just to simplify things a bit. And then I'm going to try <coughs> AI Remix, which is again in the third group. And we can just try several of these, see which one seems to work the best. That's pretty wild. 
Let's play with that. Duplicate that. <clears throat> and I'm going to go back into Topaz Studio 2. Now by working in these layers I get to correct some mistakes or try different things out. I can repeatedly apply effects in Topaz and um, recover my starting point easily and end up with different versions. I might emphasize the edges first. This is just giving me much stronger edges to work with. And here's color theme in the second group, the creative group. And I've got to decide what do I want to work with in a way of a color scheme. This is way too much like a box of crayons. So uh, let's say I wanted to work in the green space. and have contrasting yellows. And tans. And this just shows you the beginning of what could be hours of fun trying to resolve this into a modernist painting, but already we're kind of there. Where I would go from here is to add an impression. So however you want to do it. Uh, let's do it from filter. Well, I had my microphone on mute while recording that, but uh, here I show you I'm going into some adjustments of the impression. Uh, right now I'm on increasing the saturation. Here's the brush settings that I settled on uh, to get the impression that I wanted. And now I'm going to go into uh, textures. So we'll choose the category of textures and then do some searching through here. I finally found one that I liked without making you watch all the trials I went through. Uh, and I changed the blend mode to overlay and got this rather stunning result. Sometimes happy accidents are the best thing. Uh, and this is part of the creativity. You try things. It's the experimentation part of modernism. Uh, adding a little color overlay here to brighten a portion of the picture, but it got uh, Studio confused with so many layers. So what I do is I shut off their visibility and then turn them all back on, and that usually helps. Uh, here's changing a blend mode of the impression portion of this texture. Changing it back to overlay. and deciding that's good. <laughs> and now that I have that uh, back in Photoshop, we get to decide what to do next with it. Minute of this picture and now I want to put it in a frame so I'm going to duplicate it and then go back into uh, <coughs> Topaz Studio 2 for a digital frame. And this is what I'd call the final. Just add my signature and then flatten it and save. Here is a close up of that image. And what I would say is, if you've been in the box, open the lid and let yourself out.